Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to overclock um, a QNIX2710 Evolution 2 uh, monitor. Um, it is a PLS monitor um, from Korea, and um, they are capable of overclocking up to 120, sometimes even even more than 120 hertz. Uh, first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the uh, CRU um, client and that is basically found on this website right here. <clears throat> and before we get started let me first say that I'm not the one who created this uh, these driver patch or this utility. Um, that would be this guy ToastyX. So <clears throat> Let's go ahead and throw a shout out to Toasty X. If it would for him, this probably would not be possible. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to download this custom resolution utility. Uh, basically, that's going to bring up something like this um, on your screen. And when you open it, it'll look like this. Um, <clears throat> next thing you're going to want to also do is download the AMD ATI Pixel Clock Patcher. Uh, so you go ahead and you'll click on the Pixel Clock Patcher, it'll take you here, and you'll click on this zip file right here. All right. Once you've clicked on that zip file, it's going to open up this. All right. It's going to say ATIK Patcher, and you're going to want to unzip that as well as test mode, and you're going to want to unzip that. Once that's been unzipped, it'll bring up, obviously, the unzip file here. You're going to want to go ahead and download the patcher. Now, the patcher will look similar to this um, with a few different differences. Um, yours will say found, 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 found. Okay. If it says found, 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 you're good to go. Just click the yes button um, and then hit go into test mode right here. Um, download that and then restart your computer. It'll do some uh, like an update type, type thing. Um, once that's been updated and you've restarted your computer, you're going to want to, what I like to do is I go into... Um, my AMD Vision Control Center, and I go into Crossfire and I disable it. Uh, it's just something that I do that I found that works for me to make this possible. Um, you may not need to disable yours, but for me, I needed to disable mine. Uh, once that's been disabled, again, go into this uh, AT, ATIK patcher, click on it, and hit yes again. Uh, if it says found, 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 you're good to go. Um, if it says like it says for me already patched, you're also good to go. Basically, you're going to want to keep this because should you want to restore back to the old driver and uh, restore this the monitor back to only reading, being able to read up to 60 hertz, you would go ahead and click yes and, and it take you out of the test mode and, and so on and so forth. Um, but we're not going to do that because we are overclocked. So once that's good to go, you're going to go into your CRU. It's going to bring up this, obviously. And you are going to add custom detailed resolutions, custom profiles. Um, I have four here. Um, this 59.95 hertz, this is your default. Do not delete that. I highly recommend you do not delete that. That's your fallback in case anything um, were to happen. You have those settings saved. Um, what you're going to want to do, and for testing purposes, we will uh, delete this 90 hertz right here. And we'll go into the 59 hertz, um, 59.9 hertz profile. Uh, you'll see a screen like this with a bunch of numbers. What you're going to want to do is you're going to just copy this. So hit copy up at the top right, exit out, and then do add. Once you are in this blank screen, you know, you'll see a, bl a bunch of blank boxes, blank everything. Go ahead and hit paste. And it'll pull up the same profile as you did for your 
hertz. The only difference is, is you're going to come down here to refresh rate and you're going to type in whatever refresh rate you wanted the computer at. Um, I like to take mine up in increments of 10 um, just to see how high it will go. Um, so you may want to start out with doing 75 or 80, um, you know, but that's just a personal preference. For me, I'm going to go ahead and create a profile that's 100 hertz. And I'm going to hit OK. And then you'll see the 100 hertz created here in the bottom. This next step is very important. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to move this profile to the very top using this up button. And you need to make sure that this, uh, your default 59.95 or your 60 hertz profile is second. Okay. After that's been done, you're going to hit OK. And after you add any kind of profile like you just did there, you're going to need to go into here and you're going to need to restart your computer. I'm not going to do that just because I'm, I'm making a video here. Once you've restarted your computer and you bring everything back up, you're going to want to go into screen resolution. So right click on your uh, computer, right click on the screen, go into screen resolution, uh, go into advanced settings, and go into monitor. Once you're in monitor, it's going to bring up your screen refresh rate. I have mine set right now at 110. But you'll have your 60, your 100, your 120 hertz profiles. Okay. Um, you will go ahead and then pick which profile you want to run and hit OK. So I'm just going to leave mine here how it was. And uh, your screen will go black if it's successful in being able to go that high with your, you know, obviously the uh, hurt rate's going to be variant on your graphics cards and the monitor itself. So if it can do that, it'll screen will go black, it'll come back up white, and it'll say, do you want to keep these changes? Hit OK. And you're all set. Um, it is important to note that I found anything that I, as I start going higher, the you know, to test as high as it'll go, I, I'll start to get um, little lines. I'll start shooting across the page. Um, and so then I, you know, back it back down. So uh, these will easily do 120. Mine at least will do 120 hertz. Um, I have it set at 110 now just because when I play Battlefield, uh, my graphics cards can do 110 frames per second um, in V-Sync. So that's why I have it at 110. At 120 on Ultra with the 2560 by 1440, they can't quite hold 120 frames per second. So anyway, that's how you do this. Uh, the QNIX 2710 Evolution 2 Overclocking Guide. If you guys have any questions, um, please feel free to let me know. I will put the uh, down the link from to the web page in in the uh, in the uh, details. So make sure you uh, get that done. Um, I also want to make sure you guys know that this is for AMD cards. Uh, this was not for this was not for Nvidia. Nvidia has its own uh, you know process. So this is AMD cards only. Uh, Qnix Evolution 2 Overclock 120 Hertz. Thank you for watching.